I got a new blade putter and I brought it to play at Churchill Waverley Roeville Golf Course. It's a mouthful to say, but it's fun to play. I'm playing every golf course in Melbourne to find the best one, and I think it's fair to say that my putting hasn't always been the best, so I put it to the test here at this future golf course, which is about 30 minutes from the CBD and costs $50 to play. Follow along to see the course and to see if my new blade putter made a difference to my putting. Hole 1 is a par 4 at 301 meters, and I'll be looking for a new driver next because I hooked this shot straight into the trees. I recovered well and had a pitch at the green, but unfortunately I managed to 3 putt from here. Hole 2 is a par 4, 336 meters. I think the wind has upset my driver today and I hit another low one along the ground. I hit a 3 wood at the green and it came up short. My pitch hit the green and I had another 3 putt from here. Hole 3 is a par 3, 149 meters. I hit a 6 iron and I pushed it slightly right. I chipped it back and landed it pretty close to the flag and I ended up 2 putting for a bogey. Hole 4 is a par 4 at 331 meters. I hit a 3 wood off the tee and hit the fairway, but I caught my 9 iron a bit fat and it came up short of the green. I chipped it close and had 2 putts from here for another bogey. Hole 5 is a par 3 and I hit a 6 iron off the tee. It hit the green but it rolled into a big puddle of water. I decided I wasn't going to putt from here so I just scooped it out and proceeded to 3 putt from here for a bogey. Hole 6 is a par 4 361 meters. I pulled my driver slightly right and I hit a 3 wood back into play. I managed to hit my green with an 8 iron but I had a long putt for par. You already know what happened here and I had another 3 putt for a double bogey. Hole 7 is a par 5, 470 meters. I pulled my drive into the trees and slung it back into play. My pitch also pulled right and I had a chip at the green which went pretty close and I nearly hold it out. I had a decent attempt at this par putt and I ended up with a bogey here. Hole 8 is another par 5, 441 meters. I went with a 3 wood off the tee and followed it up with another 3 wood off the carpet. I hit a wedge just over the back of the green and had an outside chance of birdie. But the 3 putts caught up with me again and I took a bogey here. Hole 9 is a par 3, 135 metres. I hit a 7 iron at the green and came up just short. I chipped it close to the hole and had a putt for par which I missed and I took another bogey. So that was pretty poor on the front line. I shot 12 over par and that's not good for me. I'd say the new putter didn't improve me much because I had 5 3 putts in 9 holes so realistically about 8 of those shots were just simply bad putts. Which is good in some senses because it means I have something to work on. Hole 10 is a par 4 at 336 metres. I found the fairway with my 3 wood. I pushed my 8 iron into the sand on the right of the green. I got it out easy enough but it rolled a bit too far and fell off the green. 
I had a chip back and I finally landed a putt, which I was pretty happy about, and I took a bogey here. Hole 11 is a par 3, 163 meters. I pulled it slightly right and ended up just outside of the sand. I missed the initial putt but got a good second one and took a bogey. Hole 12 is a par 4, 339 meters. My 3 wood just rolled off the fairway and I got stuck behind this big tree. I tried to just knock it back into the fairway. My next shot came out a bit fat and it left me with a chip at the green. I made it over the bunker but had a long way to go to get to the hole. The old 3 putt situation caught up with me again and I ended up taking a triple bogey on this hole. Hole 13 is a par 3, 168 meters. I hit a 5 iron and pushed it slightly right. I chipped it back onto the green and had another 3 putt for double bogey. Hole 14 is a par 4, 337 meters. I hit the drive onto the fairway and followed it up with a good 3 wood. My pitch just rolled over the back of the green and I chipped it back close to the hole. For once I actually made the putt and that was just what I needed after the last two holes. Hole 15 is a par 4, 310 meters. I was just off the fairway with this drive and I hit an 8 iron at the green. My ball literally hit one of these wires and I have no idea what happened to it. The lads reckoned it exploded on impact, I didn't see that, but whatever happened to it, we decided it wasn't worth losing a shot over, so I dropped a ball beside where we thought it was headed and I played out for a bogey here. Hole 16 is a par 3, 173 meters. I was just off the green with a 5 iron and I chipped it back and nearly saved par with this putt, but ended up taking yet another bogey here. Hole 17 is a par 4, 311 meters. I ended up in the trees here and pitched it back out of the trees and into a sand bunker. I got it up and out and had a long putt for par. It went actually better than I thought and I took a bogey from here. Hole 18 is a par 5, 433 meters. I hit my 3 wood twice and had a pitch at the green. We were having a bit of a laugh here at the end to see if I would actually 3 put this one here and against all odds I actually managed to 3 put and I somehow took a bogey to finish. At the end of this round I ended up 22 over par and missed a load of putts but I'm just going to put that down to a poor show one today. That being said Churchill Waverley Roville is a challenging track and you'll get nothing easy out here. It has tree lined fairways and if your driving isn't up to scratch you'll find yourself struggling to score. If you think you could beat my score today come down play around and tag me in your post and as always if you know a better course than this then drop a comment below. If you made it this far, follow along to see more of Melbourne's golf courses.